the fuck is Woody Harrelson doing right now? Huh, Woody? Let's go toilet paper, Matthew McConaughey. hey. Matthew McConaughey. hey. So, some uh, baseball player. Baseball. Baseball. American baseball. 50 cent. Grab the ball like this. And 50 cent. Throw the ball to his foot. <laughs> 50 cent throw the first pitch he grabbed the ball like this and then he take the ball take the hand with the ball and he take the ball and throw the ball to his feet that's not how you play baseball 50 Curtis Jackson that's not how you play baseball you might as well just roll the ball it go further <laughs> Did he say he could have, you could have rolled the ball to the fucking to the catcher and it would have gone further oh my god dude I shouldn't even it's not funny dude Come on. You want to fucking make fun of Floyd Mayweather because he can't fucking read? But you throw a fucking baseball down to your foot? Don't blame the mound. I know, I stood on one of those things before. It's fucking, it does make shit a little weird. Anyways, a baseball player had the balls to get up there on TV and say something about Jesus and then a Bible verse. Oh, you guys don't know like that's not good. Okay in America, especially we're a secular society guys and Dana White doesn't want to hear about Jesus while he's at the gambling table. He doesn't want when Dana White Dana White, she, Uncle Dana Felid Ishmael called it Dana White Uncle Dana. I was like, well, Felid, you could whoop his ass like what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? But it's okay, because Valid let his wife pick the fucking wallpaper, and it was, he lives in a pink house. I love you, Valid. The baseball player said something about Jesus, and then a Bible verse, and I was like, wow, these people are getting really brave out there, dude. You guys better calm down. You guys better calm down. Network television doesn't want to hear about this religious shit. We're in a secular nation, okay? But then again, you guys are in a position to where they need you, and if anybody was going to be able to say some shit and they couldn't fucking control you, it's going to be athletes and comedians. Athletes and comedians are the only motherfuckers where they're, they're, you're not cogs in a wheel. I mean, you are, but you're not. An athlete like you, as long as you are performing, there ain't shit they could do. Deion Sanders, in one hand, on his left hand, was like, must be the money. Oh, no, oh, no, eh, eh. Must be the money. You know? It wasn't Jerry Curl, it was gel, it was dry. Uh, and then on the other hand, he'd be like, all praise be to my God, Jesus Christ. On the left hand, he'd be like, must be the money. And then on the right hand, he'd be like, open up your Bibles too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They can't control you athletes, dude. You guys could say pretty much do whatever you want. Like even with um, Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick got on a fucking, on his knee, and they were like, no, we must not let this happen and shit. But guess what? In the end, that motherfucker won. Like, he won, right? He wasn't even a sacrificial lamb. He just got fucking a big old contract. Never needed to play an oblong, throw another fucking oblong ball again. That's, that's what happened. So this baseball player, I should have fucking got his fucking name. He looked like he could get a lot of vagina, dude. He looked like he didn't even need to be talking about Jesus. He'd get a lot of vagina. It's another thing, too, is like people, <clears throat> I don't know why I was so ashamed of religion. I was so fucking ashamed of religion. And I, 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 to be honest, it took a really long, hard time to break out of that shit. Because like Scarface, he had acapus coming out of one ear. I had acapus coming out of one ear and religion coming out of the other, dude. From islands, we eat, we eat a lot of acapus, 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 octopi. And my mom is too fucking religious, so, you know, like, I don't want to eat octopus anymore, and I don't want religion anymore, right? The two things I don't want in my life is a fucking octopus on a platter and fucking any religious anything, right? I got the books. I don't need anything else. If I got the books, I don't need anything else, okay? I could read the books right there. You want to go put some church shoes on? No, no. Can I go barefoot? Then I don't want to go. Can I go barefoot? Then I don't want to go. So it took me a long time to break out of this religious fucking shame. I was like very, very ashamed. Like, I'm not even ashamed of fucking like this being overly fucking hypersexual and shit, dude. I just feel like I just want to be loved. <laughs> I just want to be loved. And I think that's normal. Everybody wants to be loved. So what kind of a fucking retard are you if you don't even want to be loved? See this? This is my girlfriend. If I fuck a sock... You don't think that's, 
I'm not even ashamed to admit that I fuck a sock. This thing, it's not even real. It's not even fucking real. It's supposed to go on your feet. And I put it in my dick inside this shit. I put my dick inside this shit. Shamelessly, shamelessly. Wouldn't it make more sense to fuck something? A, 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 an adult, consenting adult that could fucking talk back? Not in my world. Not in my world. I'd rather fuck one of these. I'd rather fuck one of these. I have no shame. So sexual shame, I wasn't even ashamed of. Dude, I don't give a fuck. Uh, especially when I'm tweaking, I have no shame. I'll let you guys know exactly how I felt when my eyes were like this and I fucking would shoot meth straight to my brain. My eyes would cross and I'd have porn on every fucking television in the house. But I'm not even paying attention to it because I'm too paranoid and I'm peeking out the fucking windows because neighbors, even when I wasn't on drugs, would fuck with me and shine flashlights in the window and throw dry ice in my backyard, dude. That's the life I live. So even that shit I'm not ashamed of. I have so little shame. I used to fucking dance around in a thong for money. And sometimes I dance butt ass naked. And sometimes I ain't even gonna lie. For a little bit extra cash, I might go into the bathroom with the girl. I might even go into the bathroom with the girl. If I liked her too. Eh, what a whore. I'm a fucking whore. I should have just wore a burka, dude. My whole life I should have just wore a burka, dude. Yeah. My girlfriend. You wanna know what I name her? I name her. Miss Haynes. Miss Haynes. So Religion was way, I was way more ashamed of fucking religion, dude. And there's all these people. It's always women that want to be uber religious. Once they hit their 30s, they're like fucking want to be religion teachers and shit. It's like, it's being ashamed of religion is typically more like a male thing. Like, well, it's, it is nerdy, dude. <laughs> Who said you got to wear church shoes and a collared shirt and a tie to please God? Whoever made that shit up, dude. <sighs> You already lost me there, dude. Already at the attire, you lost me. And then you want yarmulkes and shit like that? Like, ah, bleh, bleh. Not for me, not for me. But eventually I broke out that. I was like, I can't, I hate shame. Shame is a, uh, it's a, an avenue of control. It's like if people can shame you, then it's like the people who want to shame you are the ones that are, they don't want to get close enough to put their hands on you and shit. So they do it from a distance. And it's like, no, I don't deal with that. So once I broke out of my religious shame, I was like, wow, it's just so freeing and liberating. It's like, I'm not ashamed to admit that I read the books and I believe the shit in the books. I'm not ashamed that I can admit that I found a way to make sense of archaeology, history, religion, and culture. And I tie it all in together. That doesn't make me, why should I be ashamed of being intelligent? I'm not ashamed to admit that the avenues of science are just an avenue to find out the truths of the universe, which are a fingerprint of what I to believe to be a programmer that we would call God. You know, like I'm not ashamed of this shit. So kudos to you fucking athletes that figured this shit out way, way younger than I ever did. Because guess what? All your coaches and all your owners, they believe in something too. They're just too ashamed to say it. For every Dana White that would rather fucking think about gambling at a table while drunk and doesn't want to hear about fucking any type of religious shit, there's 1,000 fucking owners and uh, people of high positions in authority in Hollywood and in all these other places that actually do believe in something, but they're too ashamed to admit it because the louder minority, the people who, who whether it's they, they worship themselves or they want to be called pronouns or they, for their furries or they put their dicks in dark holes that they shouldn't be putting it or whatever, they fucking are so loud, they don't want to be ashamed by anybody who's religious. So it's just a whole lot of shame. You guys are fucking... Poca vergonha, dude. You guys need to fucking relax, okay? Everybody needs to fucking relax. Live in your truths. Live in your truths is the only way you're ever going to find an avenue to understanding the universe. If you're ashamed of your truths and you want to control other people, then you're never going to find an avenue to understanding the universe. First, you start within your own circle. What are my personal truths? Once you've asked that question, then you can ask, how do I apply my truths to my smaller environment, which is my home and my personal bubble and my friends? Then once you figure that out and you've kind of weeded out the fucking liars and you sort of just figured that 
that out, then you can look outside of your bubble and you would say, how do I apply my truths to the world? Then once you feel comfortable with that, then you could go up into the stars in the sky, which is the ultimate goal to ask, how do I or we or all of this collective apply to the entire universe? So it's just a process. It's a process of dealing with truths. And that's the only thing that's ever going to fucking fix and heal this country. And it's going to start with you, the man in the mirror. All right. So just stop being ashamed and don't let liars dictate your trajectory. Love you. Bye.